At 9 o'clock this morning, a big explosion at the Alfred P. Murrah building in downtown Oklahoma City. At the federal building in the center of the city, the A.P. Murrah building. We have one patient who is critical. It, it honestly looked like a war zone. It still does. Still remember that first day walking down the street and approaching the building and thinking, my God, this is like downtown Beirut. I mean, there were cars on fire, there's smoke everywhere, uh, first responders all over, you know, rocks and glass all in the street. It was uh, more like a combat zone. And you could watch the building move because the core had been destroyed. You had the shell on three sides, and the wind was moving the building. In some ways, that symbolized the magnitude of the tragedy. We had no idea at that time how many people died. Uh, but we knew, I knew, that there were three or four people that I knew, one in particular, very well, that had to be, almost had to be one of them. And literally, my wife and I just sat down on the floor of the living room in front of the TV just watch the unfolding in those moments ahead. Same emotion as every other person, just with stark unbelief of what we're looking at. It came on the news, and I think along with myself, all the people in the room were just totally shocked that something like this, this tragic, could happen in the United States of America. And it was just one of those moments that you always remember where you are. And, and I went on to class uh, because I didn't know what else to do. But it was like everything started to move in slow motion. He'd holler at me and said, son, come here. And we sat down and uh, I didn't even go to school that day. Uh, he was on the phone with a bunch of uh, people. There was volunteers, groups going to Oklahoma City and um, everything just seemed to stop. I've never seen anything like the Oklahoma City bombing in terms of destruction and obviously the, the loss of life. There was that moment when they flashed on the screen the face Everyone lost, and they read their names. And they got down to the point of reading the names of all those little kids. The babies lost in that nursery. There were several United States senators sitting in front of me, and they, and I, and everyone in that section, in the whole place, bawled like babies. I, I will not forget the first time I'm bringing my daughter to the museum and telling her the story, as many of us do when we bring children who were not born at the time, uh, to be able to say, you need to understand this part of our American history and our Oklahoma history and the history of what happened in Oklahoma City. I mean, there's not a memorial like this anywhere in the country. You see the chairs, and especially the smaller children's chairs, and you know that they didn't get to lead a full life, that it's just such a tragedy. I think. Uh community's done an outstanding job of making sure those tragic losses were not wasted. Uh, that's when I think we really coined the phrase Oklahoma standard. Uh, Oklahoma's always helped Oklahoma. I mean, if a neighbor was hurt um, or someone in the community needed help, neighbors always show up. We remember in the times of greatest need how we and our neighbors across the country responded that we hold that standard in how we do and focus on everything. It's not a question of if, it's, it's a question of, of what do you need and how can we show up. And, and that's the standard that I, I think we showed the world that day. And, and we remember some of the help. The, the, the people came out of the woodwork from all over to, to help us at that time. So we challenge the next generation to be able to come here, learn from that, and to be able to impact on our world in the days ahead.